Hello, and welcome to the Concert Hall of the Wertheim Performing Arts Center at Florida International University. My name is Robert Dundas, and I'm the director of the FIU Opera Theater. As you can see, our stage is presently empty due to the restrictions of the coronavirus. Normally, at this time in the semester, our opera students would be here on this stage presenting a program of opera scenes or arias as a culmination of their hard work during the semester. Like so many other schools and professional companies around the world, we have had to do things differently this year. From the very start of the pandemic, we have been committed to keeping music alive here at FIU. The Opera Workshop has done its part by producing two separate programs of arias and scenes from the traditional 19th century French opera and American operas of the 19th century. The students have used their imaginations to develop and conceive unique interpretations of their scenes and then filming them for this presentation. They have incorporated their homes, their neighborhoods, and in some cases, recruited family members to take part in their productions. The results are very personal expressions by each member of the class. The process has revealed also a remarkable range of talent, ingenuity, and creativity among the students, and I could not be more proud of the final results. The program you are about to see now consists of arias and scenes from American operas composed in the latter part of the 20th century. They include selections from operas by Aaron Copland, Jack Beeson, Douglas Moore, Ned Roram, Thomas Passettieri, Leonard Bernstein, and Carla Floyd. In recognition of the Black Lives Matter movement, we have also included an aria by the eminent African-American composer William Grant Still, and a scene from the opera Margaret Garner by Richard Danielpour. At the end of the program, stay tuned for a special excerpt from a very new opera which will be introduced by the director of the FIU School of Music, Karen fuller Veloz. I hope you enjoy the program and thank you, as always, for supporting music at FIU. Hello. My name is Jennifer Davalos Maire and I am a senior vocal performance major. I will be presenting a scene from the opera A Quiet Place by the composer Leonard Bernstein. In this scene, my character Dee Dee comes out into the garden of her late mother. She reflects upon their somewhat strained relationship, remembering simpler times, and in the process, senses her mother once more. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy my presentation. Should I pardon you? Tell me why your pretty garden died. It was pretty nice and also pretty hard. Oh, was it really us out here? I mean together in our private place. Sure, maybe now and then and after. Thank you. 
Hello, my name is Angeline Fontaine and I am a junior voice performance major. I will be presenting a scene from the opera Margaret Garner by the composer Richard Daniel Poor. In this scene, my character, Margaret, is a slave at a plantation. She is singing a lullaby not only to her child, but also to herself. She dreams of having a life full of freedom and wishing that there's a life far beyond the life she's leading now and hope for the future. I hope you enjoy my presentation. Thank you. Hello, my name is Otto Montenegro, and I am a junior voice performance major. I will be presenting a scene from the opera, Hello Out There, by composer Jack Beeson. In this scene, my character, Photo Finish, 
has recently been thrown into jail for a crime he was accused of committing. There, he meets a beautiful, young, unhappy woman who is the jail cook. The two begin to converse, and as this is happening, my character views this as an opportunity to convince the unhappy cook into starting a whole new life together as soon as he is out of jail. I hope you enjoy my presentation. I'm a gambler, I don't work. I've got to have luck, or I'm no good to anybody at all. I haven't had any luck in years, two long years now. One place to another, bad luck all the time. It's been a following me around, one place to another. That's why I got in trouble back there in Wheeling. That was my bad luck following me around. So here I am with my head half busted. It goes to show I've got to have luck or I'm no good to anyone at all. But now I think my luck's due for a change. Now that I found you, you know it's no good searching the streets for just anybody that might be there. You've got to have someone who's there all the time. Through winter when it snows, and springtime when it's pretty, and summertime when it's nice and hot, and you can go swimming through all the times. The kinds of weather a man has got to go through before he dies. A man has got to have somebody near who knows when he's wrong but likes him all the same. And if you come with me, I won't be wrong anymore, for I'll be lucky when you've got enough money that you can't be wrong anymore. You're right, because the money says you're right, and I'll have a lot of money, and you'll be the prettiest girl in all the world. And then I'll be proud around Frisco with you on my arm, Katie, and all the people turn and run to look at us. Hello, my name is Maria Angel Valero. I am a vocal performance major at Florida International University. Today I will present a scene from the opera Slow Dusk by Carlos Floyd. In this scene, I am a young girl who lives on a farm and my only neighbor, Micah, who is the love of my life, commits suicide after finding out we cannot get married due to our religion differences. This piece takes place on the lake where I found Micah and where I sing with grief, dying in sight, trying to understand why is he no longer by my side and wondering what will happen with my life now that my happiness is gone. I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching.
Hello, my name is Carolina Escamilla and I'm a junior vocal performance major here at FIU. Today I will be presenting a scene from the opera Berta by the American composer Ned Vorum. In this opera, my character Berta is the medieval warrior queen of Norway. During her reign, she descends into madness due to her constant bloodlust and eagerness to triumph over others, while stopping at nothing and getting rid of anything or anyone that stands in her way. In this scene, it shows how Berta has truly become so deluded in her own mind that she now believes that herself and her own country of Norway have intertwined and share one mind, body, and soul. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. Myself in a sense in Norway, and when Berta breathes, the country breathes, and it breathes itself in. Hello, my name is Jenna Dennis, and I am a junior in the voice performance program. I will be presenting a scene from the opera Troubled Island by the composer William Grant Still. In the finale of the opera, my character Azalea sings to Jean-Jacques Dessalines, her ex-husband. Dessalines is a Haitian general desiring to free the slaves. Right before she sings, Dessalines, however, in broad daylight, is shot in the back by his former secretary. Azalea expresses how faithful she has remained and how much she loves him, despite his pride leading to his downfall. I hope you enjoy my presentation. Thank you.
slave heart husband of mine oh we share together and day in the cane field husband of mine your praise did sing. All I was forgotten. Emperor in golden crown, full of greatness and renown. Forgotten. I must face tomorrow but the memories of our love husband of mine light my path of sorrow destiny is in the stars our destiny is in the stars i live to kiss your stars i live to kiss your scars Hello, my name is Yunus Boyer. I am a senior vocal performance major. I'll be presenting a scene from the opera Black Widow by the composer Tomás Pasateri, based on the Spanish novel Dos Madres by Miguel de Unamuno, published in 1920. In this scene, my character Raquel is restlessly waiting in her room for the marriage ceremony of her lover and his bride to end. For when their honeymoon begins, the conception of Raquel's child will take place. Since the women of her time were only seen as childbearers, her one and only aspiration in life is to be a mother. Therefore, as she tells her lover her deviant plan to keep their baby, she consciously fails to mention her intention to keep him and his bride as her children too. This scene will take you through her internal conflict of loving and resenting her God. After all years that she spent worshipping him and asking for a blessed marriage, her prayers fell on barren ground, for he had cursed her with infertility.
take his arm you for the man I for his child no such soft words more so spoken vows of love I spoke the soft words Hello, my name is Natalie Garcia. I am a senior vocal performance major. Today I will be joined by my colleagues Jenna Davalos Maire, Eunice Bode, Carolina Escamilla, and Maria Angel Valero in a performance of a scene from the Douglas Moore opera The Ballad of Baby Doe. This opera is inspired by a real life story from the American West. In this scene, I portray Augusta Tabor wife to a wealthy silver miner Horace Tabor. Unbeknownst to her, her husband has recently taken up with the younger, more beautiful baby doe. Augusta's friends are concerned and afraid that she is unaware of the gossip that is ranging in the town. So they decide to confront her at their weekly tea party and insist that she takes a stand to her husband. For her sake, and for the sake of all the women in the town, she really must do something about this terrible scandal. At first, she is reluctant to say anything. However, once the friends mention the term divorce around Augusta, she declares her vengeance. Please enjoy this performance. Thank you. Let's 
Hello, my name is Karen fuller Velos, and I'm the director of the FIU School of Music. This next performance encompasses a wonderful collaboration between our own FIU School of Music Symphony Orchestra, our vocal performance program, our concert choir, 
and our opera theater ensembles, and a special partnership with the Santa Fe Opera. We are especially proud to be joining creative forces with the Santa Fe Opera, lauded by the Wall Street Journal as the premier Rolls-Royce of American summer opera festivals. We are working together with their Opera for All Voices program at the Santa Fe Opera to create a summer institute for our student singers, our instrumentalists, music educators, and music administrators, where they can flourish and shine in truly a hands-on learning experience. We are honored and excited to have this partnership with this premier and number one summer opera festival company in the United States. This next performance is This America, with stage direction by Robert Dundas, conducted by Maestro Javier Mendoza, and written by composer Chandler Carter and librettist Diana Solomon Glover is a one-act opera portraying the life of voting rights activist Fannie Lou Hamer, a black woman of humble origins who pointedly asked, is this America, the land of the free and the home of the brave, where we have to sleep with our telephones off the hooks because our lives are threatened daily, because we want to live as decent human beings in America? On behalf of the Florida International University School of Music, we hope you enjoy this next performance of Is This America? A lot of muscle of the civil rights movement came from the young people, like June Johnson. workshop believed me when I told him I was only 15. When I started helping Negroes finish their boats, Mama and Daddy said, Girl, you're too young to be doing all this. They were scared. The Mississippi Delta is the most dangerous place in the Fighting for 
for my rights. Minds have to be turned, white and colored, to a new way of thinking. I will stay.